teenage girls, breakups, and makeup. What do all of these things have in common? They need a little bit of eyeliner to look good. From e-girl to clean girl, we see eyeliner literally everywhere in makeup. So I'm going to show you in this video how to do just that. Eyeliner. So when it comes to eyeliner, there are two main parts. There are doe eye and there are siren eye. And from those two, you can get any type of eyeliner from there. You can get gothic liner, you can get graphic liner, you can get any type of liner, but you need to start out with the basics. Doe eye, siren eye. Firstly, you need a good eyeliner. Now, what is a good eyeliner? Something like this is not a good eyeliner it's just a nameless brand off amazon now this is brand new so i can show you guys like what a bad eyeliner is like this is brand new so this is a brand new that's how it looks that's me pressing down the hardest i can and that's like a steady hand now if we try to draw like a small line that's how it's gonna look I've seen lots of people say that they're not good at liner, they can't do liner, when in reality, you are good. It's easy to become good at something with enough practice, but not if you don't have the right supplies. How are you gonna paint an oil painting if you only have acrylic? That ain't gonna work. Now, what a good eyeliner is, is very subjective. What I just showed you is obviously a bad liner. It just doesn't have enough ink, but these are my personal good liners. We have the NYX epic ink liner this is my favorite liner to use during the winter i said during the winter not all year round it's not good all year round for me this was the first one that we swatched now this is the second one it's a lot more dark and it's streaky because of my my placing now let's try and get a, a line like a straight line see you can get it pretty small now one of the reasons why I personally really like this liner is because they are individual hairs in the liner. Like, it, it's like an actual paintbrush. If you're used to like drawing and painting, it's exactly like that with this liner. It gives you the exact same feeling, the exact same effect as drawing or painting, but just on your face because it's a literal brush. So, the last one was my favorite liner for during the summer. Now this, the NYX Epic When liner, is my favorite eyeliner for during the summer. I like this one because it's waterproof. It's so waterproof. I have showered in it before and it has stayed perfect. Like, I will marry this liner one day. Now, like I said on the last one, this one also has individual hairs, but it's a liquid liner. If you are not used to liner, it's gonna be harder to use a liquid liner. It's gonna be way harder. When first practicing with liner, I would recommend to practice with eyeshadow, not liner. Who doesn't have eyeshadow? You can get your eyeshadow and get an angled brush like today and follow this tutorial. You don't need the products I'm using. You don't need any of the stuff that I'm using. This is just my recommendations on how to get good wing. Okay, so we know what supplies to use, we know what is good, what is bad, and we know that we don't need the supplies necessarily, we can just use shadow. Now let's get to the actual liner video. I only noticed after I was done recording the first part that my lipstick was all messed up, so thanks for not telling me y'all. Just kidding. Okay, we're gonna get up and personal here and take off the lashes. Oh, woo, jump scare. Okay, so first we're gonna do my personal favorite, doe eye. Right now I'm showing you the golden ratio and this is how you're gonna know where to start and end. So I can't tell everyone where to start and end, but this you'll be able to measure and tell. This is basically my everyday liner. So we're gonna get up and personal, sweetie. First you make a short line where you measured and you check to make sure it's not too long. Then you're gonna get your eyeliner and drag with an open eye to where your pupil is and drag down. I don't know if that was all explained. Watch the video, then we're gonna fill it in. Then, this is why we make sure that it's like a paintbrush. We're gonna go and like paint it in so that it blends in. We're gonna make like a small line blending it in. And because this is like a paintbrush, oh, it makes it so easy, so simple. Then we're gonna open up our eyes and look straight and make sure that we like how it looks. And we're gonna make a small line and blend it into our bottom lash line. 
as such and you can smoke it out with eyeshadow if you want after this. Okay, now we're gonna remove it and next up is Siren Eye. So for Siren Eye, you follow your bottom lash line and you don't put it out, you put it slightly upwards. It's different. Draw one confident stroke upwards, like such. With Siren Eye, you really need to be confident with your strokes. Then blend it upwards, like such. And I usually smoke out the bottom, but I just didn't want to. But you need to be really confident when doing the bottom. Because if you aren't, it's gonna look muddy and you just slightly blend it inwards like we do with the doe eye. And this is the final look. Like, that was real time, guys. That's how easy and quick you can get to do your eyeliner. So what did we learn? Confidence is probably the most important thing when doing eyeliner or any new thing in makeup, to be frankly honest. And I can't give you an advice on how to be confident when doing your eyeliner for the first time. You just kind of gotta do it and rock it so yeah um uh, i tried out a new format a new style that's uh very inspired by my chewers for this video and i very very much hope that you guys like it i i gotta go because this video is gonna take me a while to edit <laughs> um yeah i do have actual like you know good equipment for videos and stuff that i got to make a video channel but I forgot to buy a microphone. So unless you like particularly unflattering audio in your videos, um, we're just gonna have to wait a while until um, we're able to use this camera for when I can actually afford to buy a better microphone. Unless you like this formatting, you might like it. <laughs> wait, I'm in, I'm in editor mode right now, like recording on my iPad, like, I rewatched that footage. What was I saying? Like, that audio is like completely fine. Like, I should start recording with that camera.